well, WT News 5's Brian Hamrick leading the way now with local reaction to the developments in Iraq. Brian. Yeah, Mike, no shortage of opinions about what the U.S. should have done or what they should do now, but few have more invested than those who sacrificed for the ground being lost. Basically, we have lost lives and, and spent millions of taxpayers' dollars for no reason, only to maybe go back and do it again. Mace Allen has carved his opinion from the currency of context. For him, the U.S. involvement in Iraq was more than a war. It remains a personal memory. Our mission consisted of going out and gathering intel, uh, possibly picking up uh, insurgent activity. Allen spent nearly two years in Afghanistan and even more time in Iraq on a second tour. He was injured in a rocket attack and despite his daily reminders. PTSD, anxiety, two herniated discs, three blown discs. There's another cost that can't be calculated. His nephew, Tyler Warndorf, was killed in Iraq. Mace left for war the day after the funeral. I come home and lost a huge portion of my life. Flash forward today, with the U.S. military presence gone, city after city is being taken over by opposition forces, cities like those Allen paid so much to gain. I mean, if we're going to go in and help uh, rebuild a country, I think we should stay there. But now Allen thinks the window of opportunity has closed, and going forward, prefers a different strategy, focusing on what happens inside the U.S. If we're going to pull out, let's make it stronger here. So those like Mace Allen wait with the rest of the world as another chapter unfolds in the Middle East. Now, Allen was in Iraq.